What's up everyone, Kwame here back again with another video and today I want to give you an update on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra that I picked up and if you haven't, if you don't remember, I picked this uh, camera, this phone, I'm calling it a camera, but I picked up this phablet <laughs> a couple, a few weeks ago, by the time you're watching this, it'll be about five weeks now and I got it originally to replace the iPad mini and it's turned out to do so much more. I am completely blown away by how how much I like using this phone. Now this is not like my daily phone. This is not like something that I use to make phone calls and all that good stuff. This is literally for content creation. So from taking pictures, uh, editing video, editing pictures on here. This has been awesome. And it, it, it really just makes me realize how far we've come <laughs> from the time, um, for, you know, when I first started shooting pictures, especially digital, where you could, you would have to like take pictures, bring them back to your uh, computer, upload them, do all the editing on there, then you share them to social media. Now with like, even if you have a traditional camera like this uh, Ricoh GR3X, right? With a little USB-C adapter to um, SD card reader, you can import your pictures, edit your pictures, share your pictures all from your phone. Like It's incredible. And yes, I know you could do this from an iPhone, you could do it from an iPad, uh, low key, you could do it from some of the Samsung tablets that are, I think, better than an iPad. I'm debating on picking a Samsung tablet up to to look at if it's a a great alternative to the to the iPad. Let me just say, for many years, the iPhone has been the place to go if you want to be a creative, like you know, take really good pictures. You want all the really cool editing software, photo editing software, even video editors were on iOS, and now they're mainly coming over mostly coming over to android also so for video editing lumafusion you can edit video 4k 8k video on here in lumafusion i have seen some some people say that like the some of the video codecs don't work on android just yet but for you know what i do yeah it, it works um Again, if you want to shoot pictures with a regular camera, import them into Lightroom or even onto the phone and edit them using a stylus or the S Pen, you can do that and it works just great. Like it's completely, having this phone has completely changed the way that I use my iPad. For a lot of the times I was using my iPad to edit pictures mainly. I've, you know, now that I've the MacBook Air, I've been doing a lot of video editing on my MacBook Air because it just works better. But photo editing, I've still used on the iPad because of the Apple Pencil. Interact my, with my pictures using the Apple Pencil or a stylus in general. Taking that with me was a pain. Like if I wanted to go out for the day, take some pictures, come back to a coffee shop while I'm waiting for my kid at baseball or something, having a 12.4 inch, 12.9 inch tablet which was nice, you know, if you want the screen real estate, but it you have to have a backpack to take it with you. You can't just have a messenger bag. With this <laughs> little phablet, I I can go out with just this. Like this is all I need. And I can bring, you know, my I can have a, a, a phablet, my you know, a tablet in there, um, two cameras. I can put these two cameras in there, a a battery pack and the stylus and the the SD card reader and I'm good to go. Like it's incredible how liberating it's been to use uh to to be able to edit pictures on the go with this, being able to shoot really good pictures with this. You know, having that 10 time optical zoom on a mobile phone, you, you may not think it's it, you know you may you may think it's a gimmick or something, but it's actually a really really cool feature and I wish the iPhone, I'm sure the iPhone um, 15 will have that's what that's what all the rumors are saying but it's going to come at a at a premium and so for me you know having the setup of the iphone this android phone and my two pocket cameras i feel like this is the best setup i've ever had for um, photography and editing pictures on the go it's it's just been so nice like not having to come back to the computer now granted you know it's caused a a, a a wreckage in my workflow right now. I'm still trying to figure out how how I want to do this because typically I would import everything onto an S, uh, into, into an external hard drive, have my system of year, month, and and then and camera, and then import them that way. I can still do that. Uh, it's just a couple extra steps on the computer when I get back. But 
if I just want to, you know, if we're going for a, a weekend trip and I don't want to bring a, uh, my laptop or my iPad, I can just bring this, a couple cameras, and I'm good to go. And again, the cameras are the, these two little cameras, and I'm good to go. And I'm, I will be very comfortable with that setup. Again, can I do this with an iPhone? Of course, but you don't get the stylus support. The you know Apple Pencil doesn't work on a on a phone yet, and that 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 kind of sucks. You do have the um, iPad Mini, which is a little bit bigger than this one, but again, you're not going to get the cameras, so you're not going to get really good cameras on the iPad Mini. So for me, this has been the best investment I've made in a long time. Uh, and like I said before, it's got me interested in Android tablets now because, you know, for the apps that I use, they're on both iOS and Android. And so being able to use Lightroom on a device, you know, Android, Samsung in particular, has a 14.6 inch tablet, which sounds ridiculously large. <laughs> and I'm sure it is ridiculously lar large, but how cool would it be to edit your pictures on something like that and being able to do some multi-screen stuff and granted i don't you can't do like the automation and airdrop and all that stuff with your iphone and your macbook air but i'm not beholden to apple or any other company i'm beholden to me and what works best for me and uh like i said this is you know this phone has been the best camera phone system that i've used in a long time now granted the iphone 14 Pro is no slouch and is just as good. For me, it's almost like the ultimate dream of being mobile with my photography, not being tied down to a, uh, like a, a laptop or anything like that, just being able to go out, take pictures, immediately edit them if I want to, share them if I want to. Um, again, you know, sharing them with friends and family if I do ever post on social media, being able to post them on there. Uh, you know, it's it's just been very very cool, and I'm I'm so happy with this purchase. It's not cheap by any means, but again, you can find it used for around five hundred fifty dollars, six hundred dollars. I think you're in a a good a good spot. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you have a Samsung S twenty two Ultra, S twenty three Ultra, even? Um, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Have you tried going with no tablet and you know using SD card reader to import pictures into Lightroom and things like that. As of this recording, we're getting ready to go on a trip and uh, like a two week trip. And I'm, I'm really thinking about ditching the iPad and just bringing this or even uh, a Samsung tablet instead of the iPad and seeing how that, how that works out for me. Because with the tablet, the Samsung tablet, uh, I can still use uh, SD card reader. So I can put my, all my pictures on the SD card. Uh, micro SD card and have a backup that way so it's a it's a thought I would love to hear from you all again if you have an s22 how you've been using it if you have an s23 again you know or any other Android tablet that can use a stylus um, what are your thoughts how have you been using it do you find editing on a smaller device like this good you know again for me it's not about the device size it's about the portability and being able to just literally pull this out anywhere uh, that I have a few minutes, edit some pictures, and keep it moving is is really great. And I have been really appreciating that. Thank you, as always, for watching this video. I will see you next one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.